Let's do a Strecker synthesis. So Aldolf Strecker first invented his synthesis in the mid 1800s, and it's a way to take an aldehyde and use very simple reagents uh, to eventually form an amino acid, which is a carboxylic acid bound to an amine group bound to some um, R group. And the R group determines the functionality of the amino acid. The idea is we take the initial aldehyde, change it into an amine, then to a nitrile, which is a C triple bond N, and then use acid catalyzed hydrolysis in order to get our final amino acid. So let's say we wanted to synthesize alanine, which is the second most simple amino acid there is. And I should note that amino acids can be protonated or deprotonated depending on the pH of solution. So in a certain environment, like in your cells, for example, this carboxylic acid group might be deprotonated. Uh, and the same goes for the amino group here. But for our purposes, I'll just write it out in its neutral form. So in order to get this molecule in the Strecker synthesis, we're going to go ahead and start with um, acetaldehyde. And the first reagent, which we will add, will be ammonia and dilute hydrogen. And this is a reaction that is pretty fundamental with our aldehydes or our carboxylic acids. What will happen is the N will just replace the ketone and form what's called an imine. So next what we're going to do is add sodium cyanide along with HCl. And we can remember that cyanide has a negative charge at the carbon. Um, here it's in its ionic form, but when we drop this in solution, uh, there's going to be a negative charge on our carbon. And it's going to go ahead and attack this carbon here, the carbonyl carbon, because there's a dipole of electrons going up towards the nitrogen, because nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon is. So we're going to have a new bond formed like this. And this is very similar to the cyanohydrin reaction that would happen if we just reacted cyanide with our acetaldehyde here. So now we have this molecule, it's kind of looking like our alanine target molecule. The only difference is we have a nitrile group here and we want to have a carboxylic acid group where this carbon is. So what we're gonna do is just add hydrochloric acid and water and we'll get our product. This is acid catalyzed hydrolysis where the nitrile group turns into a carboxylic acid. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure this one out. Um, and just keep in mind that you want to start with an aldehyde in the Strecker synthesis always. Okay, so what we're going to do, start out with an aldehyde. And we're going to go ahead and put our aromatic group here. Okay. The first step in the Strecker synthesis, we're going to add ammonia, NH3, and dilute acid, and we'll end up with an, an imine product. Next, we're going to add our sodium cyanide along with HCl. Since this is in solution, our carbon has a negative charge. There's a dipole with this carbon up towards the nitrogen, since nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon. This negative is going to act as a nucleophile and perform a nucleophilic attack on this carbon here. And these pi electrons will swing up to nitrogen, and then nitrogen will pick up a hydrogen from HCl in solution. Now our molecule looks just like our phenylalanine target molecule. Only thing that we need to do is turn this nitrile group into a carboxylic acid, and we can do that 
by adding hydrochloric acid and H2O through an acid-catalyzed hydrolysis reaction. So that's the Strecker synthesis. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that that helped.